In this video, we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing complex numbers. Now, the trick form for complex numbers is particularly convenient for multiplying and dividing complex numbers. The product involves the product of the moduli, which is the plural form of modulus, and the sum of the arguments. The quotient involves the quotient of the moduli and the difference of the arguments. Remember, if you're multiplying, you're going to add the angles or the angle measures. If you're dividing, you're going to subtract the angle measures. It's really, really pretty simple. So let's look at example three. Z1 times Z2. So Z1 times Z2 will equal 25 square root of 2 times 14 times cosine of negative pi over 4 plus pi over 3 plus I sine of negative pi over 4 plus pi over 3. Now when we do this, 25 times 14 is 350. So we can actually keep this. 350 square root of 2 times the cosine. Well, negative pi over 4 plus pi over 3. Our common denominator is 12. So that's going to be a negative 3 pi over 12 plus 4 pi over 12, which will actually equal pi over 12. Now the nice thing about this is because these are in pi, make sure you are in radian mode. We're just going to multiply these out. 350 times the square root of 2 times cosine of pi divided by 12 be about 478.11. And we'll do 350 square root of 2 times the sine of pi divided by 12. We have 128.11. And there's your answer. For example, B, we're going to do the same stuff. Z1 times Z2 will equal 7 times 2 times the cosine of 25 plus 130 plus I sine of 25 plus 130. So what we're going to have then, we're going to have 14 times the cosine of 155 degrees plus I sine of 155 degrees. Now in this case here, we're going to make sure we are in degree mode because degrees are given to us in the problem. We're going to take 14 cosine of 155. And think about where 155 is. Cosine is actually going to be negative in this case. So we're going to get about a negative 12.69. And then 14 sine of negative one for sorry, not negative 155, 155. That should be positive, so plus 5.92i. So that's what we have there. When we're moving on to dividing, we're going to subtract our arguments. So Z1 divided by Z2 will be 2 square root of 2 divided by 6 times cosine of 135 minus 300 plus I sine of 135 minus 300. So this will simplify to square root of 2 over 3. 135 minus 300 
Well, that's really going to be a negative 165. And again, we need to make sure our calculator is in degree mode, which it already is from the previous problem. So we'll take square root of 2 divided by 3 times the cosine of negative 165. Cosine of negative, or negative 165 degrees is actually in the third quadrant. So it makes sense that I have a negative number here. So Z1 divided by Z2 is going to be about negative 0.46. And then square root of 2 divided by 3 times the sine of negative 165. Again, since it's in the third quadrant already, it's going to be negative here, so about a minus 0.12i. So there you have it. For example, b. We're going to do pretty much the same thing. Z1 divided by Z2. That'll be 2 divided by 3 times the cosine of 30 minus 60 plus I sine of 30 minus 60. That will simplify to 2 thirds times cosine of negative 30 degrees plus I sine of negative 30 degrees. In your calculator, about 0.58. So Z1 divided by Z2 is about 0.58. And then 2 thirds times sine of negative 30 be about negative 0.33. Okay. So there you have it, multiplying and dividing complex numbers. Really not too difficult. I'm not foreseeing much problems at all.